If you were terrified by that one Black Mirror episode, Metalhead, then look no further because Boston Dynamics has released a new door opening robot. I just saw that episode of Black Mirror, <laughs> and this is so upsetting to me. But let's try to remove the sci-fi of my life and Sky remember <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna kill us when we go look for a teddy bear, and we're gonna die in some rich person's house. Every every time there's like a great breakthrough in technology, I have one part of my brain that's like, this is amazing. We're gonna get to singularity. Like this, we're gonna get to such a great. Like new peak of humanity, and another part of my brain goes, Skynet, Skynet, this is a terrible idea. Has no one seen a movie? Well, the problem is, movies are ideas sure. that have been expanded upon. Sure. And it's interesting to see that this is the experiment they chose because opening doors is frequently the experiment that is chosen when, when uh, certain companies design humanoid robots, or right. in this case, quadruped with a fifth. Limb yeah. robots, uh, and the challenge is often often to open a door because you can presume these robots are designed for rescue operations. And if you think about it, a lot of rescue robots are not humanoid in design. At yeah, all. yeah. None of the bomb like examining robots look human. They mm -hmm. just look like weird robot dinosaurs with one. Big limb. I mean, when we roll the footage of humanoid robots, they're falling over. Yeah. They're being hilarious. They, uh, if they look like a human, they don't look enough like a human. So maybe the trick here is to stop trying to make an automaton humanoid, an android, but instead make something that's purely function based. And having four legs as opposed to two is a lot easier, and you can get over that hurdle easily at the very least. Improving the design flaws of humanity. Yeah, yeah. you know. So that is the Spot Mini from uh, Boston Dynamics, who you may know as frequently making very strong, very formidable uh, robot creations. I not necessarily Android because this is a quadruped. Um, and it's not really bound by the rules of nature that us humans must abide by. So that is also very interesting. It can also reenact the raptor opening the door scene from Jurassic Park and freak us all out. Well, only if it lifts its front legs up. True, in, true. In a threatening manner. For That's now, true. they're meant to be our friends, though there's always that element of people, myself included, I am not, not guilty of this, of kind of panicking about uh, how formidable these robots are. We just, we just need Isaac Asimov's three laws and we'll be safe. Those never go I wrong. I feel like I've seen many times where it went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so they are designed to help us. They don't have rogue AI just yet, but we can, uh, I mean, sci-fi is a very powerful tool for us to imagine a future in which things have just been tweaked a little bit yep. wrong and Take precautions. destroyed us as people, as a, as a species. Take precautions. But it is an interesting fate. Audience, if you were to design a robot that could get past its uh, limitations of being humanly bound, what would they be? Please let us know below and like and subscribe for more.